Uh, welcome to the official BMW IBU World Press Conference after a mass start here in Alnesi Le Grand Bernat. With us, the winners, Johannes Tinius Bö of Norway, second place, Emilien Jacqueline of France, third place, Daria Bö of Norway. Uh, Johannes, you stepped up your tempo in the middle of first lap and never looked back. Did you feel that much stronger than the rest of the field today? Mm, I think I had the best keys in the field and shape is also good, so I tried to use it as my advantage. And is it still, um, you were winning almost 54 points per competition this trimester, so when you return it's still 11 competitions to be competed. Is total score still somewhere in the back of your mind, maybe? Mm, no, not for now, but we'll see in the end of the season. And what will you do in January, apart from the great news? <laughs> How will you prepare? I will prepare for World Championships. Uh, I will try to get a good training in Christmas and and just uh, yeah, prepare like the perfect preparation. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. So Johannes is heading for the car and I guess for the flight. Tari, can you talk what will it take to build enough lead when you, until Johannes returns? And will you consider skipping relays not to get too tired? Uh, I don't know yet. You know, uh, the season start has been far better than uh, I could expect. And uh, yeah, since Johannes will uh, become a father, I think we have uh, two jokers to play on for the total total World Cup. And uh, we'll see. I think Johannes is still a favorite, to be honest. He is, yeah, this week he's been incredible with the other people in the field, including myself, <laughs> we have no chance. So uh, yeah, it's really tough. But uh, if I will skip any relays, I'm, I don't know yet. You know, uh, you can't plan the sport. You have to uh, yeah, just make a new schedule after each race. And we know you are also in the hurry. Can you just tell us how will you try to reboot? You, you don't have as much time as Johannes to recover before Oberhof. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's a pretty okay a period we have over two weeks. I think it's enough. But yeah, you see, everyone today is really tired, yeah. <laughs> except Johannes. Everyone was dead, and the, the conditions were tough. Uh, and this is all about how the World Cup is. It, it's many races, and uh, I think everyone needs this time up to Christmas to reload their batteries, and uh, then it's. The level in Oberhof will be really high, I think, and then it goes down, down, down until <laughs> that's how it is every month. <laughs> yeah. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, Emilien, it was a competition with big time and distance differences, but you looked as strong as Johannes, just a bit slower. Would you put it down to the skis or your good preparation as well? Um, maybe both. Uh, I think the preparation were, was pretty good you know um, the fact was that we didn't prepare us to soon on our recent races but all the team were was pretty strong so I think the, the goal was to be in shape now and I think it was my case you know and yeah it was a really tough race uh, so long and so hard with uh, the rain the snow and yeah, the first loop was really tough, you know. Uh, Johannes decided to to start really fast, and I think we we saw all the strong athletes uh, since the beginning of the races. And can you talk? Uh, your progress is the most visible from all athletes who are competing from the podiums. Where would you put it down to? Your skiing is three or five percent faster than last season. Shooting is also 10% better than last season. The question is what I change? Yes, and okay. who helped you with that? Oh, um, you know, I, I think it's my second year uh, in the A-team. And so my second year I trained with uh, Vincent Vitos and Patrick Favre. And last year it was really hard and intense uh, training in during summer. And so in, in September I was in a, in a deep situation. I was in a really bad shape, but I just worked hard and I knew that all the, the work I made uh, last year will pay one day. And I think today 
it's the two last year who pay uh, for for now for my uh, start of the season. Um, yeah, well, I didn't thought that um, I could be in good shape during all December months. So I'm really happy about this, and I think it's just about work hard and and just uh, believe in yourself, in myself. So. So and if if we remove Johannes for one month, he will not be there. You're one of the four French will will be chasing Taria now. So how do you see your chances to maybe take over everything this season? Well, I mean, um, I think it's the older guy who wants to reach the uh, the overall. But for me, you know, this year I have no complex. Uh, I want to. To make all the race uh, as uh, at my best, you know, and I think as yes uh, as today, I can do good races, podiums. So I have no limits. We don't know, and we will see in uh, in January. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you.